am here with lifestyle expert and green living guru, Danny Seo. Who, by the way, I'm starting to think maybe we were separated at birth because I believe I'm so interested in so many of the things you discuss and live Aww. and are true in your life. Um, so what are we gonna be doing here? What we're doing is we're gonna upcycle a children's book into this beautiful storybook birdhouse. And I you, it looks complicated, it. it's so not complicated. Okay, so show me how first it's step, done, Danny. This is like $2 at a craft store. It's a, just a regular, regular unfinished wooden birdhouse. By the way, what bird is fitting in there? Why are bird house holes so small? Does the bird like become liquid when it goes through these? Because I don't get it. And it's every bird house. The openings are literally the size of a quarter. I think they can fit. So How? I think they're small. You know, we're not talking about pigeons or seagulls. Uh, but it's like every bird house has really small holes. You know. I, I will I will look into that. I need to know because every time I stare at it, it gives me anxiety. Like, do they have to force themselves through there? Okay, thank you, Danny. Help me because it so, does give me anxiety. We're gonna do something called decoupaging. What you do is you take a book. I've already taken all the pages out of the book, and you just sloppily put on as much glue as possible. And all this is over the it. special decoupage glue. It is. What you do is you take the page you want. Just plop it through, go right through the hole. Use your fingers to actually get the paper on, like this. And then what you do is that the more glue you get on, uh. the more it's gonna seal it, and the more it's okay. going to really get the pages stuck on here. Okay, so then we do the glue on top. On top, too, because you really wanna saturate it, because it really, then it sticks, and when it dries, it seals it, too. So while it looks really messy and sloppy right now, this glue dries to a perfect finish every single time. Really? And then the fun part is, if you got the kids, because you have that little, you know, that, that hole at the top right here. It's like, how do you do that? You just, boop, stick your finger right through it, and nice. then take that if extra paper. Get, oh, there we go. Oh, it's and look at that. Hit. You're already like two uh -huh. seconds. Uh -huh. We're already getting this birdhouse like on its way. And then you just go around and around and keep adding more glue, and then you layer the paper on top. Okay. If you don't like, let's say you don't want to do this because it's already saturated, you can just tear it. Do you see how it's just naturally tearing into the shape of the birdhouse? Uh-huh. And you go around and around like this until you're actually finished with the birdhouse. Now, what you could do is if you only have one birdhouse, mm -hmm. and you're doing, let's say, a kid's party or something, you could also cut out all the characters. Inside oh, I like that. And start layering them and create a little storybook on here too. Or if you don't want to cover the whole thing in the pages, you could paint it first and then actually create little stories of your own with the characters. So oh, like that's cute, like a storybook birdhouse. That's exactly it. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and what I love is that the cost of something like this is a few dollars. For this effect, you don't have to do the roof because your actual book jacket becomes the roof. Oh. You see? And then you really just go around and around and keep adding things into this until you have. A beautiful storybook for a yeah. No, Danny, here's the thing. Mine's never gonna look like yours. Mine's gonna look like this, which is, you know. I think there's a lot of beauty, truth. The truth is you can't make it. And goodness. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's so true. <laughs> just you know, this project does even... not work if you use pages of my magazine. It's very weird. Really? Yeah, it just it just rejects it completely. It's so... like a glossy paper stock that won't be decoupaged. No, I just don't want people tearing apart my magazine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, I shan't. Uh, I shan't maim your magazine, and I just thank you so much, Danny, and be sure to pick up your copy of Naturally Danny Co on newsstands now. It's quarterly, right? Quarterly, yep. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, guys. This is so fun.